Unfortunately, very unfortunately, the two words size and weight are often used interchangeably when describing diamonds. This can be dangerous when you're comparing value for money, and whether you're an online or an in-store buyer, this video could be critical to you avoiding a costly error. Let me start with a question. If I offered you $1,000 to tell me the millimeter diameter, the size of the particular carat weight diamond you're looking for, would you know the answer? If not, no surprise, not one client in my 44 years has known this measurement, but the difference can be financially and aesthetically costly to you. If we hadn't raised this size versus weight issue, you might have focused on only the four C's and the price. You would probably have picked your cut shape, carat weight, color, and clarity. You might well have known to pick only stones with a GIA certificate. Then you might have finished by building a spreadsheet of various sources and prices for that stone. Let me show you what could easily happen if you took that route. This is how most diamond crystals look as they come out of the ground. It's called an octahedron. If you look from the side, it looks like this. And usually, the cutter will cut one big and one small stone from the rough, like this, using these end bits to cut tiny stones. From the top, the crystal looks a bit like a pyramid from an airplane, like this. Let's assume you're looking for about a two carat round brilliant, although what I'm about to show you is exactly the same for all sizes. The round shape of the diamond has to be cut from the inside the square like this. So, of course, the round cannot be bigger than the square. Imagine this crystal is 7.9 millimeters across, which is perfect for cutting a property proportion 1 carat 85, but too small to cut a property proportioned 2 carat. So, believe it or not, this presents the cutter with a difficult choice, to cut for beauty or to cut for weight. Should he cut a knockout 1 carat 85 like this, or cut a less brilliant 2 carat by cutting it too deep, like this. No prizes for the answer. He cuts what the consumer is asking for, weight, making a bit more money in so doing. And that's why there are magically way more exactly two carat stones out there than 185s. So what's best for the cutter might well not be best for you. After all, whichever stone he chose to cut from this piece of rough will be the same size, 7.9 millimeter diameter, even though they can be different weights. The bottom line, if you buy this kind of two carat, although you are getting the weight you asked for, you're not getting the size, the deal, or the brilliance you expected. So when your girl is wearing this stone and compares it with her friend's properly proportioned two carat, Hers will be noticeably smaller and less brilliant. Gentlemen, here's a little idea of how that would be. So, is size versus weight important to you? Wouldn't you have been better off spending less and getting the 185 or more to get the right size to carry? Hey, you be the judge.